didn't realize that time Memo 3. He really went through stuff. Yeah, and he told me one time, yeah, you know, Ryan, I had to sleep outside. I said, nigga, yeah, sleep right by the apartment door, one nigga yeah. told me. I don't even know this yeah. nigga. He was like, that nigga, you sleep by my door. Yeah. I'm like, what? He's just sleep by outside, my door at the apartment. He said, Ryan, he said, he said, I said, your mama kicked me out. We all sleep outside too. I, I said, shit, y'all slept in the car. He said, oh, no, nah, I ain't had no car. I said, had no car. Nah, I slept outside. Outside, outside. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. That's three. what made me like him so much. Yeah, three. You can't talk about that. That second album, do you know what I had to do to keep my lights on? I'm going to take him to church. He changed it up. You know what I'm saying? No love. He was still rapping fast, but he started, he started making hits that people can grow with. Not just, everybody ain't no killer. But everybody feel like they went through the struggle. Even the suburb niggas. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know a bunch of, I'm from the suburbs, right? I'm from the suburbs. Half the niggas that I grew up with could swear up and down we went through some hard shit. And we just put ourselves in hard shit. We had good mamas. We had, some people had brick houses, brick houses and, and a good opportunity in life. And then you look out the window, you see a slab that leaving the oil stain, oil stain in the middle of the driveway. Nigga, why you got a slab? Nigga, go get you a motherfucking Honda. But we wanted to ride slab, we wanted to look ghetto, we wanted to ride them big ass rims, we wanted to drop oil everywhere. So at the end of the day, and half the niggas from, from where I'm from, City Hill, they wanted to live from pain so bad that they moved Oak Cliff. Y'all just went backwards. <laughs> you graduated. <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas graduated and moved Oak Cliff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so when you talk about that pain shit, everybody swerving down their own way. They came from a pain. You know what I'm saying? They they went through uh, they went the through some shit in life. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up, I didn't realize that time Mo three. He really went through stuff. Yeah, and he told me one time, yeah, well, you know, Ryan, I had to sleep outside. I said, nigga, yeah, he sleep right by the apartment door, one nigga yeah. told me. I don't even know this yeah. nigga. He was like, that nigga, you sleep by my door. Yeah. I'm like, what? He used to sleep by outside, my door at said, the apartment. He said, Ryan, he said, he said, I said, your mama kicked me out. We all sleep outside too. I, I said, shit, y'all slept in the car. He said, oh, no, nah, I ain't had no car. I said, you had no car. Nah, I slept outside. Outside, outside. You know what I'm saying? That nigga really went through. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? At 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 the end of the day, at the end of the day, I thought I was a blood when I met him. I'm from the suburb, thinking I'm a blood because I colors red. Every time you see, what's up, blood? What's up, blood? Time memo three. He said, "What type of blood is you?" Said, I'm a blood. Now what type? Where, where you foul under? Man, I ain't no damn blood. I'm a blood. <laughs> <laughs> I school colors red. <laughs> you know right. what I'm saying? And so, and so, once you talk about that struggle, you can relate to a lot of people in the world. Because in everybody's own way, they went through the struggle. Wow, man. That's you, you crazy. That, ain't that crazy? Last night. But I think, <laughs> he, no I think you figured it out. Like, yeah. like, you don't, and you heard it in that music too. You heard it. Yeah. You heard it. And they, what did you say you didn't you like when he write you didn't like when he go in there you like when, when yeah you like when you, you didn't like when he freestyle nah because when he went in the kitchen before he would write that he will write that in his head when he went in the kitchen in the, in the in the kitchen freestyle he wrote that in his head so he prepared when he went to the studio but now these young niggas they ain't not prepared they just punching in they with just anything punching in you man come on y'all this y'all last chick why is you punching in some shit be sounding okay to them like. You know, they stand okay, but now I know hits. So when three, sometimes three going there and freestyle, I be like, man, I'm finna go. But then when I know he went to that kitchen and I wake up and he did in that kitchen, I'll be calling him next morning. Come on. And go record it. So we'll be, you, you know when to call him. We'll shoot, we'll shoot the video the next day. Yeah. You, you knew how to work with him. Yeah, I knew how to work with him. But do you think it's fair, though? Because I don't know. Are you working with these other artists like you was doing him? Are you giving them the afforded opportunity? I'm pushing. Because you, 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 you went through depression, too. Not, you can't say that you didn't go through a depressive yeah, state. But, yeah. so, so there was some time where you did some things to where it probably didn't go right with them artists because they were going through stuff, too. Y'all yeah, took a big loss, Yeah, man. but just record. They go get us out of depression. Music get me out of depression. Me working get, get me out of depression. I ain't no money get me out of no depression working. Let me let me give me some give me something to go down the street and let me hear your shit. And somebody call. That motivated me. Hell, you gonna see me nigga, that motivated me. You gonna see me in the mile passing out shit. Give me something to work with. Give me something to motivate me to that you do. Give me a phone call and say, man, your boy in the club over here getting this song play and FaceTime and let me see a damn nigga in the club down me there. Or your boy over here shooting a video, where you at, Ryan? Damn. On my way, come on my way. Fuck this shit. I'm on my way. Ain't miss out. You ain't finna outwork me. But when you, when I go in a club and everything they play, 
outside. It's like Mo Three promoting itself more than these niggas. He beating them from the grave, actually. He beating them from yeah, yeah, yeah past, and he yeah. still so them. so give me something to work with. I get it. I get you it. You know what I'm saying? No, I got it. The, you, you, I I don't have to be around for you to do any work. I can't speak on. Let me tell you, I can't speak on Dundum because you know Dundum is on house arrest. You know what I'm saying? He's on house arrest. But at the end of the day, let me let me let me catch your live. When he get off? Because we don't know yet. But let me catch your live. Let me let me let me nigga nigga. You got you got a chance to be great, not just good. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one.